Most people are aware that the world of mainstream comics in America is dominated by two companies, each with their own interconnected universe of characters. Those big two companies are, of course, Marvel and DC Comics. While they each have their own distinctive style, they also have a lot of similarities, the most obvious being that they both focus primarily on superheroes. Brightly colored superheroes, dressed in tights, with symbols, capes, masks, secret identities, superpowers, and gimmicky weapons, for the most part. DC started publishing characters like this first, way back in the late 1930s, beginning with Superman. Most of the major Marvel characters didn't come around until the early 1960s, starting with the Fantastic Four in 1961 and Spider-Man in 62. Though Marvel never completely copied any of DC's characters, there are a number of Marvel heroes that seem at least inspired by an earlier DC hero, making them obvious counterparts of one another. While most Marvel characters don't have an obvious DC equivalent, many fans enjoy discussing which Marvel characters are at least the closest counterparts of the major DC characters. Sometimes fans easily agree on answers, while other comparisons are a little less clear. One of the biggest unsettled debates is the question of, who is Marvel's Superman? This is an important one to try to pin down, because Superman is so significant, arguably the most significant superhero in the history of American comics, regardless of how his popularity might fluctuate throughout the decades. And it seems like Marvel must have somebody that's his closest analog. Other people have put forth certain Marvel characters that are a very close match to Superman in terms of powers or appearance, but the problem with calling any of them Marvel's Superman is that they're all very obscure characters that most people have never even heard of. If you tried telling someone that isn't so knowledgeable about comics that this guy or that guy is Marvel's equivalent to Superman, they would say, who? It almost seems unfair or cheap to dig too deep into Marvel's D-list to find an answer. And isn't the real point of the exercise to find equivalent characters between Marvel and DC's major heroes that everyone knows and loves? So if we limit the search to Marvel's core cast of superheroes, I say there are actually three contenders, each matching Superman in a different way. In terms of powers, Marvel's Superman could be Thor. Both have a wide array of powers, including strength at the highest level, flight, speed, though Thor's speed is only in flight, invulnerability, wind powers, energy blasts, and miscellaneous abilities that come and go as the writers see fit. When it suits a story, both Superman and Thor can be nearly omnipotent, and certainly the all-around most powerful heroes in their universes. Or, the answer could be Captain America. This one may seem a little less obvious at first, since Superman has all the powers, and Captain America doesn't really have any. He's just an enhanced human being, with all physical attributes at the peak of human athleticism. But both Superman and Cap are iconic symbols of true heroism and goodness, not just to readers, but within their respective fictional universes as well. They are the unofficial leaders of all other superheroes that every other character looks up to. They're inspirational. They both represent truth, justice, and the American way. Captain America could absolutely be Marvel's Superman. There is one other contender, one hero that matches Superman perfectly in the role of flagship character for their company, consistently Marvel's most popular crime fighter, internationally renowned with the same level of immeasurable mega-fame as the Man of Steel. That, of course, is Spider-Man. 
Throughout every decade, their images have been plastered over the entire earth, being featured on everything from chocolate milk to parade floats. While many other characters could claim this status at certain points, Spider-Man and Superman have been there consistently since their inceptions in 1938 and 1962. They stand side by side as their universe's most central figure, the symbols of Marvel and DC Comics. In this aspect, Spider-Man might very well be Marvel's Superman. And that's my take on this subject. If you have a different opinion, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please check out my others, and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.